Group work is an essential part to university education, as well as in the business world and many facets in companies and corporate roles. We all know the potential power and advantages that come with strong group work, but unfortunately, it is very difficult for people to maximize the positives of group work, and they seem to have received an overall negative outlook among students and others in the business world. The goal of our group is to look at group size, a component of group work that has been shown through multiple different sources of literature to promote creativity, productivity, and performance. Depending on the task at hand, having an ideal group size maximizes these components of group work and is more effective than any singular person's work. What are you doing here? Class starts in five minutes. Dude, it doesn't start like another hour. Hey guys, I'm Professor Steve. You can call me Steve-O. I'm pretty chill. Uh, question? Hey, name's Will. Uh, you'll get to know me. Uh, there was a typo in your course outline. Okay, we'll look into that. Sorry about that. Very unprofessional. Alright, um, really man, you gotta be late. Sorry. Come on, first day of class. Everyone should be here on time. Um, Alright, so this semester we're making a rocking chair. Uh, I'm gonna put 20 people in each group uh, for maximum efficiency and uh, you know, hopefully it works out good. I think uh, many, many hands make light, light, light work, just like the saying. Uh, yeah, any questions? One sec, bud. Yeah? What's the minimum grade to pass this class? Motivation, I like it. Uh, 65. Oh. Yeah. Question. Are you going to fix the typo? I'll get you that when I have a spare chance. Yeah. Not really my top priority. Question. Are we okay to leave? Yeah. Dude, Professor Steve, so stupid. 20 people for a project he forgot to mention was due in four days? All of our ideas aren't even going to be used. Well, I mean, he did say many, many, many hands. And I think with um, three less hands, the team should be okay. Yeah, I, I guess so. Let's go have a drink, play some ping pong, call it a day, get the C plus and pass. I'm down with that. All right, guys, so, um, you know, we only got four days to do this. I think we all got to work together, kind of get our ideas across. Yeah. So I was just kind of thinking, quickly brainstorming. Anyone got any ideas to kind of start things off here? Yeah, no, like, I sent you pictures of my mom's armchair, I think, in the chat. Oh, okay. You know, like, that's how I really want to do it. Oh, like, I think, I think it's going to be great. And she thinks it's the comfiest thing ever. It's, I don't, it's I don't perfect. See. What, no, page, no, no. what page is that? Like, uh, 15 or something? Uh, no, you're good. No, dude, just use those I ideas. You're fine. I, don't I don't, don't get rid of those I ideas, bro. I don't see anything on um. Diffusion of responsibility, groupthink, lack of cohesion, and social loafing are things that thrive in larger groups. The example of the two students who left the group and played ping pong assumed that the team would pick up the slack. This happens often in large group settings and will eventually lead to others having to do all the work. Many, many, many hands don't always make light, light, light work. Where the f is everyone? Hey guys, I'm Professor Steve. You can call me Steve-O. Uh, I'm super chill. Rate my prof says I'm a five out of five, so I'm amazing. Um, we're going to talk about some of the issues with the project from last year. Uh, first of all, way too many conversation pathways. Uh, this circle here represents that. There's 20 people in the group, and as you can see, it's just chaos. Way too much going on. Uh, the timeline was exceeded just I guess there was too many slackers, I don't know. Uh, this year we're gonna limit it to one, two people, one pathway, super fast, and we're gonna extend the deadline by one month. So, we'll see how it goes. Hey man, so my name's Bill, uh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you man. So, uh, I learned in a class that it's kind of important to get to know your group before you start doing some work. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, I'm an orphan. Um, my parents died of lupus. Um, uh, the only family I really have left is my pet raccoon, Fred. Yeah. Nice. Um, I, I have a brother. Um, anyways, yeah. so what do you think? How are we going to do this rocking chair project? Honestly, I have, I have no idea what a rocking chair even is. Okay, yeah, because you know, I'm kind of just used to my group carrying me, so I was kind of hoping you'd do that. Yeah, no, definitely not. I, I don't know what we're doing. Who's this? Hello? Who's this? Hello, this is Sven from the Frankfurt, Germany, Fed Clinic. We 
found a raccoon dead with all of his legs broken. It looks like a hate crime. I'm yeah. so sorry. We have to come here. Condolences. Who? And take care of the body. Oh, who, who did it? Who did it? I, I need to go to Frankfurt Super Bowl. Someone, someone hurt my raccoon. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in um, like two hours. I swear. Where the fuck is Kevin? As we can see, although there are far less people in the group, things are still far from perfect. Unfortunately, small groups are not as effective at problem solving and brainstorming compared to large groups. Since the task given is more creative task with a long deadline, this task would have been more effective if there was a large group size. Bill and Kevin show very low amounts of group cohesion as they have a very different interests and personalities as well as insinuating circumstances. Literature shows that having a larger group leads to a larger mix of skills. Having a diversity of skills on a team such as technical, interpersonal, and problem solving led to an overall increase in team effectiveness. As you can see in this example, smaller groups are much less likely to have this diversity of skills, which leads to an overall lack of productivity and suboptimal group performance. Hey guys, I'm Professor Steve. You can call me Steve-o. Um, I don't know if you heard the rumors, but I'm amazing. Um, but this course sucks, and we're gonna fix that. Um, it's probably because I've been golfing too much, but Whatever, who cares? Um, so the main issue with last semester was there was only two people in a group, which is not enough. And the first semester there was 20, which was just way too many. So we're getting rid of both of those. And I did some research. Turns out five is the best number. Who would have known? So we're gonna try that out, see how it goes. What about leather seats? For I like that. I like that. I guess you do one more, let's make it heated. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's cross Sweet. off the list. Sweet. How about we throw some wheels on? No, I, I like to rock instead of roll, my man. Okay, think about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's you good. Roll. I like that. I like that. Hey, that's a good idea, though, man. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you know what we're saying, though, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll keep it for later. Um, okay. What are you thinking? Rocket powered, if it fits into the budget. That's okay. good. Yeah, hey, yeah, money yeah. talks business yeah, students, right? That's right? really good. I like that. Money, question mark, right? Just in case. You never yeah. know. I'm thinking armrests, you know? Of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I have my arms down like that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 ready yeah, yeah, yeah. to go, you know? Perfect. In case yeah. there's some contact or you just gotta be ready, right? Yeah. I'm loving this idea, guys. Yeah, yeah me too. Good this stuff. is great. Five yeah. people. What? Lastly, a group of approximately five is seen to be a strong group size that balances a mix of diverse ideas and skill sets, as well as having an efficient amount of communication pathways between all members that leads to high coordination and control with less likely odds of social loafing. The literature states that every group member in addition to six leads to a 10% decrease in efficiency per person added. It is also important to note that the group functionality is strongly dependent on the task at hand and the timeline at which it must be completed.